the partnership with Uber Elevate has been fantastic. Everybody has collaborated, added new and additional ideas, and we've been able to take those ideas and turn them into something that's really quite fantastic. I don't think I've ever seen two teams come together like this before. And we haven't seen anything this profound in quite some time. The Uber team and, and our development team here have just been sparking each other. Yeah, this was a completely new approach to a brief or a cabin because it's not traditional tube, it's something completely new. It's reissuing a brief for a new way of transporting people. Software and Design and Innovation Studio is really where the magic happens for us. And it's where we take concepts or early design ideas and turning them into reality. Our studio here in Saffron Cabin is a very collaborative environment. And there's a lot of design agencies out there, there's a lot of engineering organizations, but to have that research and development facility within a manufacturing organization like Saffron is just super powerful. Here at Saffron Cabin, we have the talent and the tools to bring any concept to life. We get to start with a blank slate and we can create environments and fundamentally build this cabin together through many iterations, try things that maybe you wouldn't think of. So taking the, the, the high level requirements of the turnaround time and the four people on board and the eight minute flight, we had to first really understand how large the vehicle was. We had six full scale mock-ups. There was multiple iterations within each one of those, whether it was the seat or the liner or the window positioning. So for us, prototyping and building the thing was just a natural progression to get into it and understand how human beings have to interact with it. I think Uber was very instrumental in helping us do that as well. They didn't say, no, this is what you have to do. They said, oh, where are we going? Let's go there together. I think what Uber really educated us on is the idea of movement and how their vision of how you move people and goods and services around is really the global picture that we're looking at. How do you take your luggage out of the car and bring it up to the aircraft and put it in? How do you interact with your personal devices or a coffee that you have in your hand that you're able to put in a cup holder in the car, but you know, what do you do in the aircraft? Do you have four people pulling in a vehicle for an eight minute flight that has to turn around in five minutes. And keeping them comfortable and safe along their journey really drove a lot of the design decisions once we get into the actual process of building the vehicle. We don't want any excess weight, any excess cost, anything to take up space it doesn't need to. But that doesn't mean it's not purpose built for the mission. The mission requires safety, it requires a, a comfortable user experience, and requires a seamlessness of all the interactions. And so while the cabin may be minimal in some ways, it's absolutely purpose built to the mission. And I think that's the important part. This is a flight experience for four strangers, but you don't want to start closing it off and making it private and putting privacy dividers up. Again, it's cost and weight. So the, uh, the herringbone is just a nice subtle way of turning your shoulder away from the person next to you. Not, you don't feel so intruded. And it faces you out to the window so you can enjoy that amazing view at 1500 feet, uh, which is just going to be spectacular. We're looking for complete optimization. Because Uber's building an ecosystem and where the entire aviation and transportation community can thrive together. The energy around it makes this inevitable. Safran is absolutely committed to developing and building and then producing engines and other equipment to go on the aircraft, including a beautiful cabin that we've created for Uber Elevate. We will see this, and we'll see it fairly soon. This is like the origins of aerospace again. There's nothing like this has happened for decades, so it's very exciting. This is only the beginning.